Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Outriders video. In this video, I'm going to review a legendary armor set for Devastators called uh, Deathproof. So we're going to review it visually. We're going to review the mods per piece, etc. So, and then I'm going to give a little bit of my feedback as well about the entire set. So let's not waste the time. Jump right into it. Alright, so let's start reviewing uh, the set. So first of all, let me show you the set from all sides. Then I'm going to exit this menu and show it to you on the actual player in the game mode as you see it. And afterwards, we'll go ahead and jump onto individual uh, set piece and walk through all of the mods that you get. Right, because uh, if you, for example, loot these boots, you will get exactly the same mods on the boots. So for example, I got a spare copy over here, which I did not change either. And as you can see, uh, they don't have a difference. The only difference is the attribute points, but I've boosted my attribute points on the set that I'm wearing to its maximum. That's why they are more powerful. So if we exit to this menu, I personally really love uh, how it looks like, although I expected the helmet to be more of like a, you know, uh, a tanky helmet, like a knight helmet or something. Uh, so I'm a little bit disappointed with the helmet to be honest but in whatever case this still looks really nice so uh, what this set does if you have uh, three pieces are required in order for the set to be active uh, but as visual I've collected all five so basically if you have three of any of the following items right you can put them on and they will trigger the set bonus which reduces the cooldown of baller dash by 90 percent so the skill you'll be able to use it really fast so boom and done boom and done so if we go to the skills for example we can see the exact time which is 1.1 second which is crazy but that's because there's another mod which reduces it by 50 percent and in reality that's 140 percent uh, reduction honestly I don't really think that we all need that 1.1 second. If it's like two seconds, it's great because once you do your run, uh, you have the ability to shoot, you know, do your stuff, and then you run again. So maybe that's one of the mods I would replace. But uh, in general, the entire feedback I'm going to give it after we take a view of all of the mods. Because there are some, well, in my personal opinion, downsides to this set, uh, which could have been better to uh, have it changed but anyway uh, so here's the helmet by the way uh, let's quickly go through the attribute points so I don't have to mention that so fire bonus to firepower close range healing received same thing close range healing received same thing close close range healing received with firepower but then here you get HP close range healing received and HP close range healing received so it focuses on a lot of uh, healing received, close range damage, or most probably shotguns would be the perfect uh, use for this specific build. Maybe if you collab it with like bleed and there's this other mod which if you kill the enemy it automatically replenishes your am ammo. I mean there's a lot of things you can do with this uh, specific set. I personally was hoping for it to be anomaly and not firepower uh, so I guess I'll need to try to make a firepower build. Uh, but yeah Let's go ahead and jump in into revision of per armor piece. So this is the death proof mask. Uh, the attributes I already have mentioned them. So for the mods we got uh, Boulder Dash permanently reduces resistance of all damaged enemies by 50%. So the guys that you hit with the skill they all get the resistance uh, reduction. And primal range reduces the skill cooldown by 50%. So if I if it was me, I would definitely be changing this because I feel like that extra 50%. I mean, it won't play a big difference. So actually, you know what? Let's take a look how big difference it is. So it's 1.1 second right now. So if we remove it and we go to our skills, that goes to 2.1 seconds. So you, it's just one second. One second isn't a big deal. Like for example, you run, right? Boom. So you got two seconds, you do your magic, shoot, shoot, do your skills, and you can run again. Right? So definitely that would be a mod that I would consider replacing. Uh, then we've got the armor piece. So the chest. 
Uh, increased duration, uh, so that's for the reflect bullets, increase the skill's duration by 40%. And primal armor, double your armor when the skill ends for 7 seconds. So basically, right now I'm sitting at 95k uh, armor. If I'm going to make a run, I should be a little bit over uh, 200 as I have other bonuses as well. And yeah, so there we go. My armor just boosted for 221k. Uh, and it should end like any second right now. Any second. Seven seconds already passed. I'm pretty sure. Well, are you gonna end? No? Let's try refreshing the screen. Usually you don't really have to do this because it actually does the trick in this menu right here. So that's uh, understandable. In regards to reflex bullets, it's a pretty good skill, but it's uh, I would personally use it uh, like in camp plan where only humans are involved. Right, so uh, there's a mod that makes it automatic, so the bullets don't stop; they just reflect automatically, which is also also pretty dope. And yeah, I'm gonna give my feedback at the end. Let's go. Let's continue through the mods. Uh, so the leg armor, we've got uh, Baldur Dash every time. Every oh, hold on. Every enemy damaged by this by the skill increases your weapon damage by 15% for 10 seconds. Can stack up to five times so that's what like um, 60 75 percent so if you hit uh, five targets your weapon damage is going to increase by 75 percent if you got other interesting uh, by the way class skills like for example this one right here right so it will increase 70 percent plus those 75 if you hit all of those guys that's 145 percent right so that's definitely if you're going with that set you might want to go with the vanquisher uh, skill line class line all right what else we got there over there we got the auto reflect bullets now you can find while the skill is active but you cannot manually deactivate the skill it only navigates 50 percent of the damage so basically what happens is usually when you use the skill uh, you create a field or like let's view here you create a field and you stand you can't do anything you can only walk around it collects the bullets and then you can you, and the skill, uh, the skill, it will uh, reflect all of the bullets, uh, so you can end it manually or when the time runs out, whichever. Uh, but since we have that mod available, we can go. The shield is active; it automatically reflects all the bullets, and you can still do your shots. Which I also had something in mind. Maybe I'll try doing that later. Well, as I said, we'll get to that. <laughs> So then we got the details uh, for the gauntlets. So we got the mod Kingslayer. Critical uh, hits on the elite increases your firepower by 32k for six seconds, and uh, accel uh, bullet acceleration reflect uh, reflect bullets essentially increases the damage of reflected bullets by 32k, which is nice. It's good. I mean, not the best because on CT15 you need to do a lot more damage than that so it would be really nice if this were to be like somewhere around 100k now that would be you know, nice although uh, the faster the shoot the more damage they get huh <laughs> all right so that uh, that is something I'll need to play around with uh, okay and the final one is the boots so the boots live of the party incoming damage is reduced by 3% for each enemy in close range. Stacks up to 8 times. So basically uh, if you got like 8 enemies right next to you, each enemy gives you 3%. So that's like 24% uh, reduced damage. And it's not actually mentioning what type of damage, so I assume all of the damage. Whichever. Uh, okay, Primal Constitution. Damn. Each enemy you damage increases your health by th almost 4,000 HP uh, for 10 seconds, stacks up to 5 times. That's crazy. <laughs> so almost around 20k uh, extra HP for uh, what? For how long? 10 seconds. That's actually pretty nice. All right, so all this sounds very, very, very juicy right but at the moment like for example I'm using my anomaly build because I, I I prefer seismic I prefer bleed we don't have any bleed mods over there but we can replace it and the bun bundle dash will have the bleed effect on the enemies he hit he hits so we'll have extra H HP uh, and stuff like that but 
it's not the thing. The thing is that uh, the set focuses on firepower. I personally think that this set, the statue set, is a lot better for firepower because there are mods that can maintain, keep your golem active, which basically means there's 65% uh, damage reduction, and you can have it active for as long as you kill enemies with two mods. So one, you can see right here when the skill is active, it extends for two seconds, and there is a weapon mod as well, uh, which uh, let me show you what I mean. Uh, I have the mod learned. So basically another three seconds so you can pretty much have that uh, golem active at all times. So if I'm going to start work working on a firepower build I would start with the golem uh, set to be honest. Uh, there we go and there we go. Uh, no wait, uh, this one. This one right here. Killing shots grant you a protective golem effect for three seconds. So I would personally go with that set and not this one. I was actually hoping whenever I saw this first gloves and saw HP, I was like, okay, then the legs, the chest, and the helmet, I was hoping for them to be anomaly because uh, the higher the anomaly, the more damage this uh, bottle dash can do. The same, at, same goes for the auto reflex bullets. Uh, the thing is, like, for example, for example, where do I have, ah, it's on my gloves. Like, you can increase your Balder Dash with this mod for 106k damage, which definitely makes it a lot more damagey, <laughs> right? Because 38k damage on CT15 is garbage, <laughs> really bad. Uh, and essentially, like, I tried this build without making any changes whatsoever and it didn't work well so I don't know what I'm gonna do most probably I might just gonna get the mods and apply it to my seismic commander set to make an anomaly and replace it maybe with impale or something else I'm not sure I really love that earthquake uh, so yeah I, I was really disappointed that it's firepower uh, firepower although a good feature could have been if we as players would have the same option to make w at least one change in the um, attribute points like we have with the mods. So for example with the mods, which by the way, if you're getting it when modding, be very careful and do not replace the mod that you want to keep by mistake. Because if you do that, you are not going to be able to reverse that. So uh, for example, if you mess up and you really wanted that increased duration, right, and you replace it with something else, you will not be able to get it back. You will need to regrind the entire armor piece, and uh, that takes a long time. Trust me, I've messed it up with my seismic armor once, and it took me about a day or two to get that armor piece again. So when modding, be very careful. So where I was getting at, I was uh, trying to say that if we were to have the ability to at least replace one of the attributes, I would be more than happy to replace the bonus firepower to anomaly and keep the others. <laughs> at least one. <laughs> that would be that would would have been a great thing. All right. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much it for the entire set. I think I've mentioned everything. I'm not going to do any build here because I at the moment don't know what to do with it because in order to do something good with this specific build, most probably I'll need to make myself a firepower build. Uh, but as I said, uh, I think the statue set is much better because it gives 100% to your damage while the golem is active. So that's actually pretty nice. Or... How about collaborating the Golem set with these mods? Interesting. I'll think about it. <laughs> but anyway, what is your takeaway from here? Maybe what's your ideas? Maybe you already have a build. Could you please share it down in the comments? That would be great. And by the way, when commenting, please do not swear because those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them. Nobody can read them. Nobody can respond to them. So if you got something to say, Feel free to leave your positive, negative feedback, whichever. The only thing I ask of you is not to swear. If you're new and you subscribe, well, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so I have from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to join our Discord, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description, but make sure to read our rules over there because if you don't and you break them, most probably going to get banned by me or mods. And if you want to uh, see any of my live streams, feel free to give me a follow on Twitch, although I don't have a fixed schedule over there because, well, I'm not a full time. 
Anyway, thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys located at. I'll see you later. Bye.